these things never happen here. Oh my god. Hey Connor. What's up? Thank you for feeding with me today. Of course. And uh, what, what should people do? Like, subscribe, leave a comment. <laughs> Thank you, Macho Man Savage. Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> T-Rex arms. <laughs> We're cutting eggs today. What's up everybody? So it's time for another egg cutting video and I'm pretty excited about this clutch. You'll have to see why in this video, but uh, we got seven eggs to go through. So let's get started. Oh, he already did it. He didn't I did wait for you. Did it. Oh. Took too long. So could you tip it towards me? I know you're excited, but what the f is that? So it's a pastel. Um, I don't know if it's micro scale cause I can't see the head, mm -hmm. but it is at least a pastel. So, egg number two. Who's that Pokemon? Foul. Oh. So we were starting. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Okay. I'm just excited. Knucklehead. Uh, it's so who's the dad? Eat. Who's the dad? It's who's really the dad? All right, that's a leopard. Here we go. That's cool. Yeah, that Looks does like look spider. like leopard hidden Gene Wilma. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's a constant. Ooh, leopard. so here's another pastel. Is it? Is it? No. It's like a pastel granite. That's weird. So all the extra dots. Specs. So it's literally like the extra dots. Oh! So the granite gene, often, I mean, nobody really cares about it anymore. You know what? <clears throat> Did you look at its face? No. To see if it's a pastel granite micro scale? Cause- I can't see its face, no. Pastel and granite are in the female, but the, the male. But the micro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be. That would explain why. Why it looks that way? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, you can just oh, six. Yeah, yeah. With granite. With granite. Sorry, don't discount You're granite. Discounting granite. I just okay, said. Ready? Are ready we good? Yeah. Are you good? All right. Yeah. 
Now there's a coral glow in there. Oh, oh. So that means it's a little leopard. Oh, that's nice. That's silly. So that's like coral fader. glow leopard fader. Yep. Shit. Hang on, let me get some goo out of there and I'll show it to you, Donnie. So yeah, so that's a coral glow leopard. And everything in here is going to be, apparently, a uh, possible double het hypopied, uh, which is pretty cool, because uh, the coral glow leopard is the sire and he's uh, double het. So this might actually be coral glow leopard hidden gene woma. I won't be able to tell for sure until it's out, but... Look at that. Not a coral glow. So, this is actually a pretty nice, reduced pattern hidden gene Woma. So, so that's like a dead giveaway of a hidden gene Woma combo, or just hidden gene Woma in general, is that almost like chocolate colored head. Um, so, if you're ever working with hidden gene Woma and you're trying to see what's going on, if there's hidden gene Woma in there, that head is a really good way to tell. So this is a pretty reduced patterned hidden gene Woma. It doesn't look like Hidden Gene Woma Leopard, but it is interesting. Now you, you saw the head, it's not a microscope? No, it doesn't look micro. Scaleless ball pythons! Scaleless ball pythons. <laughs> Happy! <laughs> Scaleless ball pythons! What's up, guys? So, guess what? This is a snake without scales. Ugh, that's so good. Yeah, there's some, mm. some shed skin happening right there. Um, so this is a pastel, essentially pos het clown, uh, super micro scale. So, still super cool. I like to see I like seeing baby scaleless stuff. We should have some pretty cool scaleless stuff hatching out this year. Um, and then if we look, continue to look inside the eggs, we have this little runt. This is just a normal micro scale, super teeny. Probably had some yolk issues. But issues. yeah, because I don't know if you can smell it, but there's kind of like a little What's bit of a smell rank it? smell. Oh, you, and uh, okay. usually, usually that means that there's uh, not the greatest yolk in there. So this animal is gonna basically absorb what it can and then detach from the rest. Um, if you notice on the top jaw, almost no heat pits. So that's that's pretty typical of the micro scale versus the scaleless head. Scaleless heads tend to have more typical sized heat pits. Whereas uh, the micro scales uh, tend to have much smaller, almost non-existent heat pits. 